In this video, we're going to do area of trapezoids. Trapezoids are quadrilaterals. They have one pair of parallel sides. These parallel sides we call the bases, remember? And these non-parallel sides we call the legs. Okay, so we have two bases, base 1 and base 2. To find the area of a trapezoid, we need to know the bases and a height. This formula for area is very similar to the area of a triangle. A triangle, the area of a triangle is a half the base times the height. So this is exactly the same thing except that the base is made up of two bases. So we have to add the base first, the bases first, and then multiply by the height, and then divide by two. So I like to write this formula as base 1 plus base 2 times h, everything divided by 2, okay? Notice the height is a segment from the vertex, and that segment is perpendicular to the opposite side of that vertex, and that would be your height, okay? I can also draw this height outside like this. I can extend this base right and this would be my height okay so either way let's do an example here's an example first thing you do find the area let's write the formula for area area is base 1 plus base 2 times height everything divided by 2 so let's see what we have I have a base of 6 and a base of 8 so I have to add my bases 6 plus 8 I have a height of 5 inches, so I multiply by 5, and then I divide by 2. Now, you have to remember the order of operations. We always do what's in the parentheses first. So let's add 6 and 8, and that makes 14. So it's 14 times 5 divided by 2. And now, I'm not going to multiply 14 times 5. That's too big, right? If you want to do it in your head, you can divide 14 by 2 and get 7, and then 7 times 5, that gives you 35. 35 square inches, and that's the area for this trapezoid. Let's do another example. Find the area of this trapezoid. Let's write the formula. Area is base 1 plus base 2 times the height divided by 2. I have two bases, 7 and 11, so 7 plus 11, and the height is 7 times 7. Everything divided by 2, so that 7 plus 11 is 18 times 7 divided by 2. And that equals 18 divided by 2 is 9, and 9 times 7, 63. 63 square meters. That's the area for this trapezoid. For this one, let's write our formula. b sub 1 plus b sub 2 times height, everything over 2. And the two bases are 16 and 10, so I'm going to add 16 plus 10 times the height, which is 14, everything divided by 2. And that equals 16 plus 10 is 26 times 4 divided by 2. So 4 divided by 2 is 2, and 2 times 26, that's 52 square feet. That's the area for this trapezoid. Now we're going to use the area of a trapezoid, which means the area is given and some information is missing. First thing we do, let's write our formula. Area is base 1 plus base 2 times the height divided by 2. Let's plug in all the information we have. For A, I have A is 96, so I'm going to write 96 equals. For B1, I have 9. For B2, I don't have anything, so I'm just going to write B sub 2. For H, I have 8 and everything is divided by 2. Now I want to isolate this variable b sub 2. The first thing we do is we cross multiply 
96 times 2. So this becomes 96 times 2 equals parentheses 9 plus b sub 2 times 8. 96 times 2 is 192 equals 9 plus b sub 2 times 8. Okay, now if I want to isolate this, because that's where my variable is, this 8, since it's being multiplied by all of this, I can divide both sides by 8 and get rid of this 8 here. And now I'll have 2, 24 is equal to 9 plus b sub 2. How do I isolate b sub 2 now? Well, since it's being added by 9, I can subtract 9 from each side. And then on this side, I get 15. And on this side, I get b sub 2. So b sub 2 equals 15. And that's what they wanted me to find. And that's what we found, that this base is equal to 15 meters. Meters, remember your units. Don't forget them like I just did. Okay, and you can you can check uh, 15 plus 9, that's 24, and 24 times 8 divided by 2, that means it's 12 times 8, which is 96. So you get your area because this base is correct. If you get a different number for area than the one that they gave you, then something went wrong. You have to go back and check, okay? Here I have three examples. We did one in the classroom. I'm going to do all three now for your convenience. I uh, suggest that you do these on your own. Hit pause right now and do these on your own and then you can play the video and check if you got the right answers. Okay, for the first one I'm going to write my formula. Area is b sub 1 plus b sub 2 times the height over 2 and then I'm going to plug everything in. Uh, area is 77 equal to b sub 1 is 8 plus b sub 2, which is 14, times h. I don't have h for this one. So we're going to look for h. First thing you do, cross multiply. 77 at times, times 2 is 154, equals 8 plus 14 is 22 h. OK, don't forget your h. And now, to find h, we would divide by 22 on both sides. So h is equal to? seven feet. H is seven feet. That's your height. And you can go and check if you want. And you add the bases, which is 22 times seven divided by two, which is 11 times seven. And 11 times seven gives you 77. So it checks out. Okay. For the second one here, let's write our formula. Always start out with your formula, of course. And now we plug in all the information we have. For area, we have 39. So 39 equals b sub 1 we don't have, b sub, do, t, sub 2 we do have, and h we do have. And everything divided by 2. So cross multiply. 39 times 2, that's 78 equals b sub 1 plus 8 times 6. I want to isolate this whole thing. And since this is being multiplied by that, I'm going to divide everything by 6 on both sides. And six, uh, 78 divided by 6 is 13 equals b sub 1 plus 8. Now I want to isolate b sub 1. So we subtract 8 from each side. And b sub 1 is going to equal 5. Let's check. If b sub 1 is 5, then for area, 5 plus 8, that gives you 13. 13 times the height, which is 6, divided by 2. So 6 divided by 2 is 3, and 13 times 3 is 39. So this checks out. Okay? For this last one, I don't see, let me see if I have some room here. I'll, I'll do it here. I ran out of room. Okay, I'm going to start here for this one. Area, write your formula, b sub 1 plus b sub 2 times h over 2. 
Area is 84 equals b sub 1 is 13 plus b sub 2 times h, which is 8, divided by 2. Cross multiply 84 times 2, that's 168, equals 13 plus b sub 2 times 8. And now we divide everything by 8 on both sides, and that gives you 21, All right? Let me see, 2, 1, yes. 21 equals 13 plus b sub 2, and now we subtract 13 from each side. And on this side, you get 8 is equal to b sub 2. So b sub 2 equals 8. Let's check. You don't have to check, but it's a good idea to check your work because you know if it checks out, then there's no way you could get this wrong. Okay, 8 inches. See, I forgot my units again. Minus 5 for the teacher. Okay, let's check. If I want to calculate area, I would have to add the bases, which is 13 and 8. That makes 21. I would have to multiply by the height, which is 8, and divide by 2. So 8 divided by 2 is 4, and 4 times 21, that gives you 84. So it checks out. Okay, I hope you got all of these correct when you check them. Um, go ahead and practice some more. In your book, you have a lot of exercises on these. You can also practice from there. My next video is going to be on the area of regular polygons. I'll see you in the next video.